If you want to be a great cook, you need to learn to season things you can't taste until serving like fish, meat and poultry. In this video, I'll show you how professionals season proteins and give you a few tricks for developing intuition of how much salt to use. The biggest mistakes I see with seasoning are not applying salt evenly and salting at the wrong time. Salt does not rub in well, so we need to make it land in the correct place to begin with. To get an even distribution, you need to lift your hand high, rub your fingers and move your hand around, just like they do on Top Chef. I've never actually seen Top Chef, but that's what my students say when they watch me season. You want to do every surface, including sides. You eat the sides, don't you? So why not make them taste good? About timing. Since most proteins are browned, we need the surface to be dry before cooking. But salt can interfere with that. Here's a fish fillet that was salted 15 minutes ago. See how wet it is? That's because the salt draws the moisture to the surface. To cook this fish, I need to dry it on paper towels. After 15 minutes, the salt didn't have enough time to penetrate the fish yet and I am likely to remove most of the salt while drying and end up with under-seasoned fish. Since 15 minutes ahead looks like a terrible idea, when should we salt proteins? The best option is a day ahead. This will give your protein a chance to absorb all the salt and make it most evenly seasoned. You'll need to dry the protein before cooking but there is no worry about removing salt at that point. It's all in. If you can't salt ahead, then dry your protein with paper towels and apply salt right before cooking so that the protein browns before the salt has a chance to make it wet. Now the question of how much. Here most cooks rely on intuition, but if you're a geek like me, you can quantify the intuition with a little digital T-scale that will only set you back about $10. And I assume you already have a regular kitchen scale, or what kind of a geek are you? We can weigh our protein on the regular scale. It's 212 grams. Most people prefer the salinity level of 0.5 to 0.9% by weight. My ideal salinity level is about 0.7%. 0.7% of 212 grams is 1.48 grams. Unfortunately, a regular kitchen scale can't weigh such small amounts accurately, which is where the T scale comes in. Let's pile a bunch of salt into this cup, zero out our scale, and start sprinkling it on our fish. When we get to minus 1.48 grams, we'll stop. Here's what diamond crystal kosher salt looks like applied to fish. The volume will vary tremendously from salt to salt, since it depends on the crystal shape, size and density, but the weight will be the same. We reached minus 1.48, so it's time to stop. The scale is really just training wheels. Eventually even the geekiest of cooks rely on intuition, but the scale helps you to develop it. Keep practicing and one day you too can be on Top Chef or at least on YouTube. Don't forget to subscribe to Helen's Kitchen channel not to miss any more cooking geekiness. And if you're ever in the Boston area, maybe I'll see you in one of my classes.